Hey YouTube, this is Super Zemus, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2. Alright, we beat Woodman last time, but who's weak to the Leaf Shield? That, my friends, is Air Man. He is probably my favorite robot master in the series. He's just awesome. He's a boss, viewers. Also, one of my most memorable stages and my favorite, uh, uh, probably my favorite, uh, stage music, uh, Robot Master stage music in the series. So, second, he's my second favorite song in the entire classic series. The reason why I'm not choosing him as the song I'm gonna be quiet for is the fact that there's one other that I wanna be quiet for. You know the one, viewers. You know the one. Anyway, let's get started, though. Sorry, Airman, but you will always be my favorite Robot Master. He's a boss, viewers. He is just a boss. Yeah, just... His music is awesome, viewers, but anyway, let's get started on this stage. Probably one of my most memorable stages, but anyway, if you get close to an edge of one of these, um, <coughs> one of the floors, um, sometimes these, uh, big heads pop up. And what you want to do here is you want to wait for its horns to go down. Oh, I almost made, I almost lost that one, but you want to wait for the horns to go down, then jump onto its head and move on to the next platform. So yeah, you can jump on the very edge of his uh, head and uh, dodge the horn, just kind of jump and jump over the horn. But I uh, do not recommend that because if you get hit by the horn, you will most surely die. And uh, Like, the horn will uh, push you off the edge and you'll die, so. Anyway, let's start riding the clouds, viewers. It's gonna be Goku for the day and ride the Nimbus. Nah, nah. I feel like I'm Goku when I'm riding these... Actually, I just thought of that now, but... Uh, that third cloud is probably the hardest to get on. Make sure, also, do not get in the way of these guys' uh, these guys' uh, thunderbolts, because if you get hit by them in midair, you'll fall into... you'll fall and die, and that's no good. But yeah, I just thought of... I just thought of... Uh, this is actually the first time I thought of Goku when I'm riding the clouds, but... Oh, crap! The, the birds are back, viewers! Ah! Ow, man. Jeez. Please give me a warning when you're coming. Yeah, the problem with the clouds, viewers, is that they're in your way, and when the, um, birds are coming... The birds! No, when the birds are coming, viewers, um, they start- they drop the egg without you knowing, so... Anyway, more heads. Holy crap, another one. Yeah, this- this one's a bit hard to get past. What you want to do is wait for the first, uh, set of horns to go down, and when they do, viewers, that's when you want to run and get onto the second head. That's how you want to handle that. But now we want to kill that guy. That guy likes to blow you back, and if you're on the edge when he blows you back, that's no good. Run! Jeez, the birds are everywhere! Now, this part's going to be a little tricky. Ah! No, not because of the birds, because of this guy right there. Alright. Ah! Alright. Oh, that guy kind of disappeared, but the tricky one was that, uh, that one, uh, ooh, health! I'll take health. But the second one we, uh, fought. Not, not the one on the top ledge, but the, um, bottom one. The reason being for that is because, um, you're right near the edge when he starts to blow you back, but... Anyway, now we made it to Airman. Airman... Oh, I'm at full health, so I can handle this. Airman's weak to the Leap Shield, which is Woodman's weapon. This is one of the harder, uh, bosses. Mainly because of the random... The random, when he, um, shoots his tornadoes, you have to weave in and out of them. And if you get unlucky, sometimes you can't even, uh, some of the tornadoes you can't weave in and out of. Um, for, when he starts jumping towards you, viewers, what you want to do is, uh, stay at the, at the wall he's jumping to and just shoot him from behind, and then you'll kill him. Yeah, that's how you want to handle it there, viewers, but... Shoot him in the back, viewers. All right. First, first Woodman we killed by being a tree hugger, and now we're killing Airman be by being a wall hugger. Anyway, for beating Airman, we get the air shooter. Pretty cool there, and... Whoa, holy crap! No, it's Dr. White. Oh, it's Dr. Light. I thought, I thought it was something terrible. No, no, this is the reason why I wanted to beat Airman before I beat it... Uh, for, before I beat Heat Man. Item 2, viewers. You get three... There's three items that Dr. Light will give you throughout the game, and, uh, it basically helps you get around things. Item 2 is definitely the most useful of the three items, and we're gonna be putting use to that through, 
a lot of stages, actually. I mean, the items are very useful. Very useful. You'll see, viewers. Specifically, item two, which is the most useful of all of them. You'll see when we get the Heatman stage. But yeah, we get item two and the air shooter. But who is weak to the air shooter? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man 2. This is Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.